Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This time I'd like to continue my pilot career, so let's jump into the P-51. It's the June 15th already, which basically means that it, uh, the war, is, war in the Europe is over for one month and uh, on the 8th of May, so one month and uh, one week. It's over the war, but the war still, like the Second World War, is still continuing. There is still the war between the in the in the Pacific Ocean between the USA and the Japan. So let's jump into it. Okay, I know you are tired, but someone has to do it. Escorting B 29s to this AK 10 sector. Okay, so I'll be leading the flight of eight B 51s. Let's go into the arming section just to switch off these markings again. So there are no two stars over each other. And let's jump directly into the cockpit and let's see how this mission goes. Okay, there is another flight of P-51s. Second flight, we are here in the altitude somewhere escorting the. Oh, they are just below me. Just looking for these guys here. Oh, someone crashed into. Into the B fifty uh, B twenty nine. Yesterday I was drinking the B fifty two. So if you know the drink, so I was talking about B fifty two, but it's B twenty nine. Probably I won't be able to fly that fast on my back to follow these P-29s. I'm way slower just because if the aircraft is flying on the back, it is like high AOA. It's not flying that straight. Okay, I'm able to fly like 400 kilometers still, so that's pretty okay. I'm really sorry for the mid, -f mid, -f mid air collision, but it happens. I'm not going to reload this mission once again. Next time he will be more careful. I really expect that they are happy with my <laughs> with my show here. They must feel a little bit stressed with all these things what I'm doing here. Let's fly slightly away, just keep them enough space, hopefully my other pilots won't collide into them anymore. Okay, looks like we lost number 3, which is missing here. We have number 2, number 4, number 3 is missing. And there is 7, 6, 7, 8, probably, and 5 should be there as well. 
and that's it. So we have like seven aircrafts which will be fighting against uh, I don't know how many enemies. Let's check that. Okay, let's use some time compression. I'm gonna use the autopilot for this. Just need to save as much time as possible. Okay, we are over the Kyushu Island already. I can see there is a bunch of enemies flying over the target. Looks like six enemies there. Okay. Uh, switch off the autopilot. Oh, where am I? What is this? I was thinking that I'm somewhere here and I was updating the map position and it jumped like to this island What is this? Oh my god, why am I here? Together with like three of my companions, so this is a really stupid mission I mean stupid by myself, it's not the... But I thought that the... This guy's good. Autopilot is working okay. Let's fly higher. Wait a moment, wait a moment, wait a moment. There is a bunch of enemies following our guys. So let's try to find them now. The bombers will be probably somewhere around 4 to 5 kilometers. Hopefully I'll be able to see them. Oh, there they are. Just in front. Okay. So... That's the B-29s, and uh, there are some Japanese fighters following them. Okay, there, there it is. So there are like one, two, two zeros. I was doing stupid things, and uh, look at this situation here. So let's follow the last guy here. Hopefully that's the last enemy in this area. No, there is like two more over the target, but I'm going to follow this guy here. Okay, I should be reducing the distance right now. Okay, now looks like I became faster than he was. So from now on, I should be able to reduce the distance. Looks like one of them is flying somewhere else. Okay, I will try to find them later. Looks like the Zeros are like having troubles to follow these uh, super fortresses. They aren't that fast.
I was surprised that the autopilot flew like to the last waypoint and the mission was over. I saw a message about mission complete over the screen. Very interesting what that uh, autopilot did. Okay, one kilometer or is it one mile? Don't know. Probably one kilometer to the target. And he's always reacting when I'm like uh, 0.85, he's reacting to my movements. Okay, couple hits into him already. I saw it on his wings. Ah. Okay. He's bearing out. I've lost the rest of the formation. I would expect them to be somewhere right. Okay, there they are. Now I see them. Somewhere here behind this airfield should be another zero. Unable to see it yet. Okay, he's somewhere in the middle of these airfields. I'm not sure with his altitude. Okay, he's somewhere behind this airfield already. But I do not see him. Okay, I'm just behind him. There he is. Okay. I've lost so much altitude just for like no reason. I was looking for him but was unable to find him. So bad that I have to climb like one kilometer again. Okay, I can see the defensive fire from uh, coming from the B-29, so they should be able to defend themselves like pretty effectively. I'm not worried about them. I think that their firepower is uh, sufficient enough to destroy one fighter. Oh, he's hitting that B-29 pretty seriously. Oh, that was one hell defensive maneuver. Wow, that was great. Look at this B-29. 
<laughs> he's trying to catch that zero. <laughs> okay. And now he's quite slow. So let's follow him. And this will be a really bit bad result if I jump out. Okay, impossible to bail out. Oh no, I have to refly this mission once again. I hate such. Okay, let's use the autopilot, but I'm going to check my position. Okay, so far I'm flying with the bombers. I need to see when. I was somewhere around the Kyushu Island when I returned back. Hopefully this won't happen during this flight. Look at this. Uh, he simply changed the direction and the steer point. So you cannot rely on autopilot in all the situations. That is so stupid. Okay. Let's fly on my own. I can see the bombers in the distance. There they are. So let's follow them. There is one single bandit, or maybe it's a two bandits coming from the south, so let's attack them first. I'm not sure about their altitude, but uh, going to keep my altitude for as long as possible and now let's try to find these bandits I'm pretty sure that their altitude is lower than mine altitude but I don't want to trade yet need to make sure that they are not like here in 5 kilometers Otherwise, it will be really hard for me to climb again. Maybe I should have followed this. Uh, Attention, fighters! 10 o'clock low! 10 o'clock low, okay, I can see him. It's number one. But there might be like two aircrafts very close to each other, so I see only one label. very fast, like 700 kilometers, flying without any power whatsoever. I can't pull any Gs, otherwise I will dismantle my aircraft like a Lego. Okay, 500 kilometers. Oh, what happened? I have both my wings, but uh, don't have the bandit now.
Okay, couple hits into his wing. I saw that coming. I'm pretty sure I'm hitting him. Come on, just fall down, or bail out, or I don't know. What was that? He's flying very interestingly. Come on. Like, really? Like... Jump in the shock! Bombs away! Bombs away! Bombs away! Okay, I'll be flying this uh, mission in my next video. I don't know what I, what I did in the previous. Ground attack mission. I don't think there will be like any ground targets. There will be just fighters like in the previous mission, but I'm going to take some bombs anyway. Maybe there will be something suitable for for them, but uh, okay. Okay, guys. So that was that was all from my side for this uh, mission. I was unable to shoot down any any enemies during this flight. Tail, right. Strike escort. Twenty two minutes. I bailed out, so no result. It was the fifteenth June. Now it's like twenty June. So. We'll see how this mission goes. Guys, thank you for watching. As always, have fun, take care, and bye.